<laughs> oh. Oh. <Whew. laughs> okay. All right, stop. Bah. All right. Hey, everybody. Thanks for checking in today. Why am I laughing? Well, first of all, who am I laughing at? I'm laughing at myself. Second of all, why am I laughing? I was reminded today of how important authenticity is and how important it is to allow yourself to grow and be open and be willing to grow and understand that just because you hit a certain age or point in your life that you don't stop growing, you just keep growing even more. I uh, attended my youngest child's uh, parent-teacher conference this morning. And uh, first of all, any teacher out there, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do. I've had some amazing teachers in my life. I've mentioned them quite a bit. And my message is because they played such an important role for me in my life. But definitely uh, for those of you who are taking care of my kids throughout their educational journey and learning journey and that you care and the hours that you put in and the time you invest in it, it's just amazing. So thank you. If you don't hear it enough, thank you. Anyway, I'm laughing because the thing you learn about after having 85 children is how serious you take everything before you are responsible for children. And then that first child, how serious you are about everything. What percentile are they in? Are they, le are they learning this thing? Where am I failing as a parent? I'm just such a failure. I thought I was doing something. And you just, what you realize by that 85th child is you need to stop and breathe and be authentic to who you are, understanding what you're really good at and, and what you're not so good at. So I'm not so good at teaching my kids how to use scissors. Apparently I'm horrible. This is now from the first child to the 85th child. I've received the feedback. Feedback. Hey, why don't you work with your child on using scissors? But going back to my very first uh, parent uh, teacher conference, uh, I was a rookie, a rookie parent, uh, not a seasoned veteran like, like, uh, like I am now. But uh, at that first one, you know, he, he had been receiving you know, each day they had behavior, right? So green, everything was great. Yellow, there's there's some issues today, but they're getting back. Red, obviously, like, well, not a good day, uh, behavior-wise. But there were several days that were yellow throughout the month, and I was so concerned. I was so distraught. I was just, what am I doing wrong as a parent? Where am I failing as a parent? This must look so bad to the teachers, and must look so bad to people around me whose kids are always on green. Let's back up a second take a time out apply this to whatever you got going on okay because first of all I shouldn't care what other people are thinking because they're not raising my kids I shouldn't worry about their judgment and what oh, my kids do I shouldn't worry about any of that stuff I should be authentic to the relationship I have with my child the relationship I have with my child's teacher making sure I'm being as supportive as I can from, from my side of things from the investment I can make uh, but I remember how distraught I was. Like, well, we're gonna fix this. We're gonna we're gonna work with him on on these behaviors, and these won't happen. And, I, and it never dawned on me to think about. But well, wait a second. Is that most important? The grades, the the perfection, the 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 just absolute pursuit of flawless human beingness. And I came to the conclusion myself that it's not. Because how many days do I have? that could be coded as yellow days, where I was like, yeah, not my best. Or red days were definitely not my best, and apologies are in order. And then I also have green days, right? Green days where you just do what you, do what you can. But the biggest lesson I learned out of all this this morning is just being receptive to the feedback, being receptive to where you know, she's at in the, in the process and, and the things she's doing really well and she's excelling in, the things that we can work on. And, he, and here's, here's, the, here's the, mm, the magic. Everything is gonna be okay. Everything is gonna be okay. She's developing in her time. She's learning in her time. She's, she's growing. She's doing a lot of cool things with other kids in her time. And it, and it really had me thinking about, this was really one of the first interactions, here it is 85 children later, one of the first interactions I've had, completely authentic to the point of, A, I don't know everything about parenting, okay? <laughs> B, there's still a lot of room for growth and being playful with that. And C, listening and being open to how I can improve as a parent with my child and help her grow in her learning journey. 
because I cannot say it enough. When you start to focus on authenticity and you start to focus on who you are and, and being open to growing and being open to learning new things and being receptive to improving in areas that you wanted to improve in, knowing what you're really strong at and going all in on that, knowing what you're challenged with and seeking help for that, that it's all gonna be okay. Because at the end of the day, the people who really care about you, really care about you, aren't after, after something about whatever you got going on or something, are going to love you, you ready for this? Unconditionally. Can you imagine what that would be like if you actually loved unconditionally? Meaning, I love you, period, at the end of the sentence. Not I love you if, not I love you, but just loving unconditionally and understanding that that's gonna be a process and a journey. We're very used to loving with conditions or managing, if you're in your work environment, managing with conditions or you know uh, other relationships as long as fill in the blank. Just imagine what those relationships would be like if you loved unconditionally. And just imagine what those conferences, the parent-teacher conferences, or your parenting, is if you were listening unconditionally. Just being more true to who you are because we're all on this path together at different points. I have a whole lot of work to do and I share my journey with you because I wanna encourage you to be kind to yourself. Try to identify who you are, not who you want to be, not who you used to be. We're changing every day, moment by moment. And in parenting, I love this. I love this awareness that came to, uh, came to me when I heard it. But if you keep in mind that the minute your child leaves the door in the morning, that by the next time you see them, they are eight hours older, eight hours of more experiences, eight hours of of different interactions, eight hours of their own awareness, eight hours of taking ownership over something, and being open and receptive to learning from them, asking them how you can be the best help, not telling them, asking them. Watch the magic that happens with those things. And this all came from my 85th parent-teacher conference where I just realized I need to be more playful with myself and have come a long way. There's still room to grow and that you can do it. And I was cheering myself up. Anyway, I had to laugh about that and uh, you have to laugh at yourself. As you're trying to do all these different things, just remember to laugh at yourself. Just have more fun, be more playful, take ownership, be authentic, but love yourself because you matter. And I appreciate you. Go get them. Thank you.